Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on the Forgotten Weapons Library. I'm Ian, and today we're taking a look at a book by Dolph Goldsmith entitled The Devil's Paintbrush, Sir Hiram Maxim's Gun. Now, regular readers to the blog should need no introduction to Dolph. Um, he is probably the, the leading accepted expert on the Maxim and Vickers machine guns, and uh, The Devil's Paintbrush is, without a doubt, the, the primary reference work available on the Maxim gun. Uh, it does cover pretty much all variants of the Maxim. The, of course, the original uh, development in England, and then the, the British Maxims, the American Maxims, uh, Russia, Germany, uh, Finland, Switzerland, China, I'm probably leaving out a few. Uh, and not only does it cover the history of the guns, it also covers the technical development of the guns, it covers accessories, optics that were used with them, tripods, ammunition belts, the whole slew, everything. Um, really is an absolutely invaluable book for anyone who is interested in the Maxim gun. Uh, also, unlike some of Dolph's other books, in particular his book on the Vickers, uh, the Devil's Paintbrush is still available on, at its cover price, no less. So, uh, this is one that you can actually get, and I would definitely recommend it. Now, there's, there's really too much cool material in here for me to, to show you all of it. So I figured we'd take a look at specifically the chapter on uh, the German MG-08 in World War I, and let that give you an idea of the sort of coverage that this book has on all the different versions of the Maxim. Of course, the book starts with a history of, of Maxim himself, his early life, and development of, of the very first Maxim guns. But what we want to take a look at is kind of a microcosm of the overall book, uh, specifically the, the German MG-08. So, let's see. We have, of course, the early development of the Maxim from uh, one of the, the standard British models into the MG-08 that the, the German military would adopt. Discussion of the 0815, the lightened version. And, of course, uh, the, the 0818 as well. Some interesting stuff like uh, expedient trench mounts here. We have optics, discussion of the, the scopes that were used and, and how and the accessories that went with them. Various tools, discussion of the aircraft versions, the LMG 0815. We have uh, larger caliber versions, the Tank und Flieger. A look at the various different manuals that were published by the Germans on the gun. And from there, uh, it goes on into use of the MG-08 clear through into World War II. So there you go. That's the sort of information that you're going to see in The Devil's Paintbrush on all the different versions of the Maxim, not just the German one. Of course, that's way too much for me to go through in a, a short video like this. Uh, I do also want to point out that the version that's generally available right now is the third edition, which was uh, expanded and reprinted in 2002. And that includes about 200 pages of additional material beyond the original version of the book. So there's more on uh, the American, the German, the Russian guns, as well as some smaller countries that use the guns. Um, and interestingly, there's also a section at the very back on Maxim's early automatic pistol designs, which are also very interesting. So there's a ton of material on this, even more than in the original uh, editions of The Devil's Paintbrush. If you're at all interested in Maxims, this is absolutely the, the single best book to get, and I really can't recommend it highly enough. It's just fun flipping through this and looking at all the cool stuff in it. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys will pick up a copy if Maxims are your cup of tea. And uh, tune back into ForgottenWeapons.com for more cool book reviews. Thanks for watching.